Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of To The Point. Today's topic of discussion is black holes. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. India recently launched ExpoSat, which aims to study astronomical X-ray polarization from cosmic sources such as black holes and neutron stars. Now let's discuss what are black holes. Black holes are dense astronomical objects with gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Albert Einstein and Carl Schwarzschild were first to pitch the idea of black hole. The event horizon is a boundary of black holes, gravitational influence. Anything that crosses this boundary will fall into the black hole. Objects that cross the event horizon are destined to fall to the very center of the black hole and be squished into a single point with infinite density called the singularity. In 2019, scientists obtained the first image of a black hole using observations from the Event Horizon Telescope of the center of the galaxy M87. Sagittarius A is most likely a black hole situated in Milky Way galaxy. Now moving on to types of black holes. First is stellar black hole. They are only a few times bigger than our sun. They weigh between a few and hundred times the mass of the sun. Their physical size is relatively small with diameters of only a few kilometers. In the Milky Way galaxy, there are an estimated 10 million to 1 billion stellar mass black holes. Supermassive black holes. The mass of these objects are hundreds of thousands to billions of times the sun's mass. They are found at the centers of the most galaxies. Some supermassive black holes exhibit periods of intense activity, known as active galactic nuclei or AGN. These events often outshine the entire galaxy. Sagittarius A is an example of supermassive black hole. Now it's time for the practice question. With reference to black holes, consider the following statements. One, singularity is a boundary of black holes' gravitational influence. Two, anything falling into black holes squishes into single point known as event horizon. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.